Okay, welcome to this tutorial on programming your calculator with the quadratic formula. Uh, all programs on the calculator pretty much go through this one central button. So I'll begin by just pressing it, and you'll see I've got three options to execute a program. I only have one there, it's called System. I can edit a program that's modified after it's uh, been written or is in the process of being written, and then create new. So I'm going to create a new program. If at any time you make some sort of mistake, you can just quit out of it. Second and mode, there's the quit button. And then you'll come back and you can choose to edit. And you'll go right back into the program where you left off. It saves everything as you write it. So I hit enter, and there I am. I'm locked in alpha mode. So I'm going to give this a name. You've got up to eight characters. I'm going to call this quad form. So Q and U A D F O. R, M. I'm going to go pretty quickly uh, so you can pause me to wait and get caught up. But I hit enter and there I've got my first line of the program. Um, I need to prompt the user to put in the right thing and that's going to be A, B, and C. So to do that I display in quotes the instruction. So I hit program again. We literally start every command through that program menu. We get our control options here. Uh, not used as often for us anyway, usually as the input output uh, menus. So I'm going to go to display number three. Everything needs to be included in quotes to be displayed exactly as it is, and I'm going to lock it second and alpha. We'll lock it in that alpha mode so it's flashing. And I can do quote, and then I'll type in enter E N uh, T E R and then I'll put a space that's above the O and then I'll just do A and then to get to comma I get out of alpha lock mode so I'll do alpha and then A uh, sorry the comma I know if it's in alpha mode or not by looking at that um, flashing cursor if it's got an A in it it's in alpha mode if it's just a rectangle it's not so I need to get it back in alpha mode hit alpha and B hit comma and then alpha and C and then finally alpha in quotes and that's the exact line I want it displayed exactly as it is in quotes. Hit enter and I've got a new line and I can begin doing the calculation now. So for the quadratic formula I think it's easy to start with the discriminant so I'm going to begin with um, parentheses then b squared whoops now here you see I made a mistake I didn't go to alpha mode I just hit B so when you make a mistake you just simply quit out of it and then you hit program again and I'm gonna go to edit edit quad form I hit enter and you'll see I'll come right back down to where I want to be so instead of that uh, quotation mark though I'm gonna go program go over and I'm actually I'm going to input uh, my variables. That's what I need to do. I need to input the variables. So I hit number two, and that's prompt. And I want to input an A. So alpha A, hit a comma, alpha B, hit a comma, and alpha C. And then that um, prompt command will give me a question mark after the A, after the B, and after the C. So I can put in three variables with just the one command. I don't need three separate prompt commands. That's a considerable saving. Now I do the calculation. So I want to do alpha and B and squared and minus 4AC. So I do alpha A, alpha C. Okay. And uh, I'm going to then store this as D. So that's for discriminant. So the store feature is not found through the program menu. It's the one exception. It's down here, STO with a little arrow. And I'm going to store this as D. So I do alpha D. Now, do I need parentheses there? No, I do not because it's going to square that and then it's going to subtract those numbers from it. So I'm good. I hit enter. And now I can do the um, first of my solutions. I can do in parentheses negative B and then I can do plus or minus so I'll do plus uh, negative B then it's going to be plus or minus the square root of that discriminant so I do second and the square key to get the square root and I'll do alpha D this helps save me the time of typing it twice 
I hit two parentheses to make two closed parentheses to go along with the two open ones. And I do store this as, and I can give it any letter. How about M? So the alpha M. Now I want to do the second solution. So I do parentheses, and I'll do negative B, and this time minus, and the square root of D. And I'll store that as n. I'm going pretty quick, so I would expect you to have to pause this. But I want to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, I hit the wrong letter. I didn't uh, hit the alpha. So I just go back, and now I do alpha, and I type on top of it. There's an n. All right. So I need to display my answer, but I want it to tell me that the solutions are there. So I'm going to have a quick display step program over. Number three, again, is for display. I'm going to lock it in quote mode. And I'm going to have it say just the solutions are. So quotes. And I'll just even abbreviate, abbreviate that. S-O-L-S for solutions. And then I'll say R-A-R-E. And I'll be grammatically correct. And I'll put the little colon there. And then I'll close it with the quote. And now I hit Enter to jump it down. And then I'm actually going to display M and N. So I hit Program for yet another time, go over, and hit number 3. And then I do Alpha and M, and Alpha and N. OK, now I've made a mistake here on purpose. I want to put a comma in between those. Otherwise, it'll multiply my two solutions. It'll do M times N. So I just simply go back, and I do second and insert. My second delete gives me insert, and I hit the comma right there. And you'll see it inserts a comma in between. And then I can just arrow once, and then hit Enter, and I'm good. The other thing you might want to know is that over here on the right, you'll see all the history of the many keys I've hit. So as you pause, you can simply reconstruct what I've been saying with that. All right, let's give it a try. So I'm going to second and quit out of that. Now I go back to Program, and I want to execute this quad form. I hit Enter, and I hit Enter again. And here it is. It's saying Enter A, B, and C, and it's asking me what A is. Uh, I happen to know that if I have x squared uh, minus x minus 12, I'll get solutions of 3 and negative 4. Let's see if that works. So x squared is 1. And then I said um, minus x, so that would be a minus 1 for that coefficient. And then minus 12. Let's see if we get that. Um, oops, I forgot something else. It's twice as big. I wanted to divide by 2a. So I go back to edit. I quit out of it. And I go back to my program. And then I edit. I hit Enter. And you see, I forgot to divide by 2a. You think that was on purpose? Let's see. So I go over here. and. I go to the arrow, and I just do second, insert, and I do parentheses, and I do 2, alpha, a, and then I close the parentheses. All right, now I just lost the dividing sign there, so I need to reinsert the dividing sign. Second, insert, and dividing by 2a. All right, so you might have to retype that if I've been too fancy with my correction. but. Even right here, I can just type on top of it. That's probably easier. I just do divided by, and then parentheses, 2, alpha, a, close parentheses. And I'm going to store that as alpha, n. All right, so I'm done messing with you guys. Let's quit out of that. And let's hit Enter. And you can see it knows that I'm running this program. So now I'm going to do 1, negative 1, and negative 12. And let's see what our solutions are. There we go, 4 and negative 3. OK, so that's good. Let's see if this is under 10 minutes. Thanks a lot.